Welcome to Huawei Firewall Multimedia Configuration Course. In this course, you will learn how to configure server mappings in the multi-egress scenario. The method for configuring server mappings in the multi-egress scenario varies according to whether one or more public addresses are assigned and whether the public interfaces are assigned to the same security zone. In this course, we will learn how to configure server mappings in a scenario where the public interfaces are assigned to the same security zones. In this topology, the public interface connecting the firewall to ISP1 and the public interface connecting the firewall to ISP2 are assigned to the untrust zone. Configure server mappings to map private address 10.2.0.8 of the server to public address 1.1.1.8 of ISP1 and public address 2.2.2.8 of ISP2 and map port 80 to port 8000. An ISP1 user access 1.1.1.88000 to connect to the server and an ISP2 user accesses 2.2.2.88000 to connect to the server. Let's see server mapping configurations. First, let's configure a mapping rule for ISP1. Set the security zone to untrust. Enter public address 1.1.1.8 of the server. Enter public address 1.1.1.8 of the server. Enter public port 8000 and private port 80. Select public IP address as server IP is required. After you select this item, the server can use the public address to access the internet. Considering security, you are not advised to select this item if the server does not need to access the internet. After you select this item, the black hole route to the public address will be automatically delivered to prevent routing loops. You are advised to select this item. Then, let's configure a mapping rule for ISP2. Set the security zone to untrust. Set the public address to public address 2.2.2.8 advertised by the server to ISP2. The other configurations are the same as those for the first rule. Next. Let's configure security policies. Set the source security zones to untrust where the public interface resides. Set the destination security zone to the DMZ where the server resides. Set the source address to any. Set the destination address to the private address of the server. Server mappings in the multi-egress scenario may cause the failure to access the server because the forward and return path of packets are different. To ensure that the forward and return path of packets are the same, configure sticky load balancing on the public interfaces of the firewall. Click the public interface of ISP1 and enable sticky load balancing. Click the public interface of ISP2 and enable sticky load balancing. After sticky load balancing is enabled, the firewall uses the inbound interface of the request sent to the server as the outbound interface of the return packet from the server in response to the request, instead of looking up the routing table for an outbound interface. That's all for the course. Thank you for your attention. 